Two high-profile deaths happened yesterday. One was rapper DMX, dead at 50. It sucks, right? My age bracket, he was one of the most prominent rappers of the time, probably at the tail end of the gangster rap era. Bunch of great tunes. You guys all know them. I need not tread over that ground, but he's also had a very troubled life. He has spent time in jail for drug use, drug possession, whole host of stuff. So he went into a coma. He went into intensive care a Friday past. He's been in hospital. He's been in the coma the entire time. He was on life support. It was not looking good, and he finally passed away. Way. on Friday 50 years old it really sucks because the dude had such a unique voice it's really sad I don't have anything else to say other than that and then of course somebody who is almost twice as old as X Prince Philip Queen Elizabeth II's husband passed at a ripe old 99 years of age and unfortunately this is gonna kick off a wave of deaths in the royal family obviously they're all getting to that age right uh, for my life for my parents life there's only been one royal monarch of britain and you'd have to think within the next decade probably before the close of this one queen elizabeth ii is going to pass unfortunately I hate to speak in such morose terms but them be the breaks then we're gonna have what a 70 year old prince charles step up for a fucking hot second i don't know it's gonna get a little bit goofy but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but this just shows you how well respected the dude was calling the prince of or rather the duke of edinburgh dude but um yeah i can't really rebut that he's uh, kind of in the ground well at least he will be on the 17th is when his funeral is scheduled that's going to be a big event right final wish was be in windsor castle and pass away there and thankfully he was able to have that and you can see it was not a small gathering outside of Windsor Castle because uh, stuff like this fortunately doesn't happen very often, but the outpouring of support is substantial and warranted. Served in the Second World War. He was there. He was on the warships. And by all accounts, he was a base dude. Hence why his passing stirred up the feels of the right people. That's how you knew this dude was based for a very long time. A number of woke, verified Twitter accounts expressed delight, mockery, or derision in the final in the minutes and hours after the announcement of the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, on Friday. Just 17 minutes after the announcement, Toronto-based writer and content strategist Karen Greer, Greer, whatever, who says she has written for the Guardian and Vice, ugh, and ugh, she's from Toronto. Deeply saddened to hear it was peaceful. He deserved so much more pain. What a cunt. British Pakistani stand-up comedian Tez Ilas. Always go back to whence he came. Host of the program The Tez O'Clock Show on Channel 4 commented on the death of the Queen's consort saying, After a tough life of scrutiny, Prince Philip can finally erase him in peace. Well, remember, you can always go back to whence you came, pal. Janus Rose, a senior editor at the website Motherboard. Wow, they're just picking all of the great ones. A division of Vice Media wrote and later deleted a tweet saying Prince Philip is dead and DMX is alive. Happy Friday, everyone. Rapper DMX died just hours after the tweet was posted. As you can see, it just continues to get more and more worse, like with more and more worse. That's grammatically correct. Uh, it's just all these people that were probably calling for unity and peace not that long ago just show what enormous sacks of shit they actually are. Prince Philip, another senseless, tragic, and preventable death by autoerotic asphyxiation. He was 99. The fuck is wrong with you? When will we stop turning a blind eye to this epidemic? I'm trying to parse out the joke there, but I can't find it. Literally. And I'm normally fairly sympathetic to people trying to make jokes, but uh, that one... Um... I, I, I don't know, unless he just finds the idea of something he probably partakes in on a fairly regular basis funny. I don't know. But let's just see what the institutions are up to, right? Because it's, okay, if it's just uh, the Twitter activists, if it's just the blue checkmark crowd, it's not that bad. Well, how about the state broadcaster opening up a page for complaints about too much coverage of Prince Philip's death? Huh. Taxpayer funded. Your license fees goes to paying for the BBC and the passing of a royal, and there's too much coverage. It's been two days, right? 
BBC has opened a page on its website for viewers to register their complaints about the extent of the coverage of the death of Prince Philip. The broadcaster said it has opened the page in response to receiving complaints that there was too much coverage of the Duke of Edinburgh. A dedicated page is found at the top of the broadcaster's main complaint page, headed a Death of, H of HRH. Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, too much coverage on BBC TV. It reads, we're receiving complaints about too much coverage. How many and from who? Coverage of the death of Her Royal Majesty, Prince, F or His Royal Majesty, sorry. Just so you see that. See, she's been around since like 52, right? Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, please enter your email address below to register a complaint about this. And we'll send you the BBC's response as soon as it is available. ITV and Channel 4 also altered their scheduled viewing of wall-to-wall -wall coverage because obviously it's a big fucking event. And if you're complaining about it, um, you know, there's other programs out there. There are other avenues of entertainment. If your precious fucking cable box isn't displaying that which you want it to, you can always just go somewhere else. How about that? That's what you tell everybody in the opposition to do, right? Oh, just make your own insert here. But when somebody passes who you think is more racist, even though I don't know, are there any pictures of him kicking minorities or pushing them off the warships? I'm not entirely sure about that. And just in contrast, the BBC had given thousands of hours of coverage of George Floyd's passing in BLM to the LGBT lobby and other matters which consistently poll er, consistent polling shows the British public do not support. Yep, so once again, it's just the vocal minority spurging out because they can. So yes, of course, obviously, a very trying time. It wasn't unexpected. Prince had been very sick for a very long time. He was 99 years old, so he got to live a very, very full life. And like I said, it's probably going to become a little bit more commonplace as these people are encroaching on mid-90s. So hopefully we don't have to do it again soon, but I'm sure something shiny will roll outside of their apartment complex and these fucking Twitter spurgs will just move on to something new. Maybe some streaming show on one of their fucking degenerate platforms will come out and they'll have something to binge watch for hours on end. Fucking losers. Anyways, with that said, I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.